He's gonna go in for a lock. So he's really desperate to kill that, isn't he? Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back at it again with another Minor Poison deck. This is my all time favorite deck in the game. It's 2.9 Minor Poison. You're gonna have Valkyrie instead of Knight, and you're gonna actually have Tesla instead of Inferno Tower. Due to the 2.9 cycle with Ice Spirit and Skeletons, you're really able to cycle a lot of Minor Poisons to finish off the game in Double Elixir. And of course, you're gonna be able to cycle to a lot of Electro Wizards and Valkyrie on defense, the strongest two defensive cards in the game at the moment. I highly encourage you guys to play fast Elixir cycle decks like this 2.9 Minor Poison because it will get you better at the game. So go try it out in some grand challenges and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. We're gonna go for a skellies in the back just recycling and we're gonna end up seeing a dark prince. So this is most certainly gonna be a giant double prince stack. I'm feeling it guys. I'm feeling it. It could be something different but I'm thinking that it's gonna be giant double prince. I have faith in this man. Hey I knew it. <laughs> All right so I'm gonna go for ice spear here. And then I'm going to go in for a Valkyrie right on top as soon as the Prince ends up charging on top of the Ice Spirit. Or denied a charge on top of the Ice Spirit, rather. Electro Wizard mitigates all damage from the minions. Hmm, he's got minions with this instead of Mega Minion? Oh, wait, it's a little bit different than I thought. So I really just don't want to drop an early Tesla because it decays so much HP. So I want to go opposite lane with Electro Wizard, Minor, Ice Spirit. I haven't seen Pump, so I feel very confident in this play. He's gonna have bats as well. You're crazy, man. You're wild. He's gonna go for Valkyrie. It's probably the best play I could have done. I'm also gonna go for Ice Spirit. I think that the Valkyrie coupled with the Ice Spirit and both towers shooting at the Golem are gonna be more than enough to deal with it adequately. He did a lot of damage in the right hand lane because you always wanna apply aggression. Even if you have Skeletons or Electro Wizard and Miner, it's usually going to be a good idea to apply aggression off his lane, as you guys just saw there. Depends on card cycles though, and depends what he had in cycle, right? Like, he wasn't going to drop a Prince right on top of me. Going for another Miner with those two Skeletons. So in this situation, I'm not going to go for an Electro Wizard at the river, because I know that he, uh, he would have adequate answers to us. I'm just going to go for a Tesla on defense, I'm going to get ready with my Electro Wizard off to the side. But the Miner was pretty pivotal in our defense here. I'm gonna go log back everything and then I'm gonna immediately follow up with a Valkyrie. Notice how I'm staggering my units. He's not able to, well, he should be able to hit everything, but he was not able to hit everything there for a little bit of time. I'm gonna go in for another set of Skeletons plus Miner. I'm gonna immediately follow up with an Electro Wizard because we have a lot of Elixir still on the left hand side. If he doesn't deal with the left hand side, guess what? The Golem is gonna get shredded. So even if he doesn't deal with the right hand side, like, I don't know, he's gotta, he's gotta pick his poison, right? Like, you can't have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it too, man. It's the best way of explaining it, I guess. So we're gonna go in for another log, drop our Electro Wizard outside of the poison. Poison placements are always really important. I'm gonna end up going in for another Valkyrie, and then I can just go in for a set of Minor Plus Skeletons, go in for a poison on top of the bats that he's about to drop, and then I think we just win the game because the bats die, he ends up having to zap the Skeletons. I go in for an Ice Spear, I just need to recycle back to one more set of Minor Poison, and then we win the game for sure. So it looks like this man is just about forfeited. I'm going to go in for the Minor Poison. I know that this is all she wrote for sure because Minor plus Poison or Minor does 64 hit, Poison does 216, Log does 84. GG, man. All right, we're going to go for Skelly's in the back and we're going to wait and see what Rosa wants to do. Who is going to go for an Ice Spear? We're going to go cordially greet him with an Ice Spear Minor combination. He's going to go in for Mega Minion, Archers. Probably going to be Expo. Most likely going to be Expo. Could also be Graveyard, but I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not feeling that people are going to be running Graveyard right now. Let your wizard up close and personal. What you want to do here, man? Tesla, yeah, yeah, you're running Expo. Tesla log. Valkyrie, unfortunately, doesn't get any tower damage there. He used his log so I can go cycle Skellies. Ice Spirit in the back. He's just going to play really apprehensively, isn't he? I can't poison that because I know that he's going to probably end up dropping an Expo and I don't want to do something stupid and give him the ability to like get out of that, right? Yeah, here he is. I'm going to go for a poison now. He's 
So I'm gonna go for Skeletons just to deny a little bit of uh, tower damage from the X spell. Gonna go for Ice Spirit just to make sure it doesn't lock onto our tower, finish it off. So the main thing that you wanna do is utilize your Valkyrie and your Miner as the main resources and Skeletons actually to absorb the HP from the uh, X spell. And obviously, when they drop Tesla, you want to go for a Miner on top of the tower, not on top of the Expo. You can't just drop a Miner like head first into an Expo and assume that's going to be a good decision, because it never is. I'm not going to drop a Valkyrie, because that's Fireball value. I'm going to go for a Miner, just to get some more chip damage. I'm going to drop my Valkyrie in the back yet again. I'm going to get ready, since his Tesla is out of cycle. If he goes Expo off his lane, I will go for my own Tesla, but it doesn't look like he's about it. I don't want to go in for a log. Not 100% sure if he wants that to happen to him. Gonna go in for another miner. We're just cycling out here. Getting tower damage for free. Okay, here he is. Tesla right on top. I have to go Valk off his lane here. Not going straight into a Tesla. Unfortunately, I actually have to go and drop uh, poison and drop skeletons yet again. Then I'm also gonna have to log this, guys. Otherwise, that would be too much tower damage. Oh, I barely... No, okay. Since the poison clips it, we're fine. He's playing this really well. So he's good. He's a really good expo player if he knows that he has to switch lanes on me. So notice where I dropped the miner. It's going to take the targeting from the expo. This is really important. Drop another Valkyrie. This time we're going to go for a Tesla just to make sure that we can... Obliterate his expo, otherwise we wouldn't be able to. Try to finagle that Tesla in there somewhere, somehow. Alright, so to go for a pre-log, make sure that the Electro gets on top. Then I'm also going to go in for a Poison, just to make sure that we can kill the... Or put the Valkyrie into range that we don't really have to worry about it too much anymore. Skellies as well, OP. Miner as per usual in that placement. If he gets a hit, I don't care. Dropping another Valkyrie. He's not expecting him to do that. So that's poison value still. It's a really bad, really horrible play actually. Sure, you're going to get tower damage, but that's inconsequential. Because <laughs> I just need more tower damage than you. I, actually, I need way less tower damage than you. But I do need tower damage, man. With unprecedented vigor, I go in for the Miner. I can go in for a Poison and then uh, just get back to one more Poison and got the W. I'm pretty convinced that I'm able to defend this in time. Especially if I go in for a Log on top of anything he's about to drop. GG, well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. Like, you can see the bad Expo players just going for Expo Tesla at the start of the game. Or they just like go same lane and bash their head against the wall. That guy wasn't like that. All right, so he's gonna go for a princess at the start of the game. I'm gonna go in for a Valkyrie. We're gonna have to wait and see exactly what he's up to. Okay, so he's got the secret sauce. He's got Valkyrie, he's got princess. He's gonna have some bait deck and probably gonna be replacing Knight with a Valkyrie, if I had to guess. We're gonna drop our Electro Wizard. We're gonna go in with a Minor Hot and Heavy and we're gonna get ready with a Poison. I don't really wanna go in for a Poison too early on until we know that we're gonna be able to at least hit a princess with it. Princess has to stick in with her, nope. She had to be in there for three ticks. She was not in there for three ticks, unfortunately for us. End up going in for a Valkyrie up close and personal. So notice this Valkyrie placement. It would have actually hit two of the goblins. He decided to drop all three of them into the Valkyrie. So dang, man. I would have had to drop skeletons on that one back goblin because the tower was going to be targeting that Valkyrie. That would have been like a free 300 damage for him, but didn't really happen. Also, it would have made me spend one more elixir. So, when you're running Minor Poison, always go same lane as the bait player. Because sometimes you're going to have to defend against the barrel in unconventional ways. And when that happens, you always want to have counter push potential with your units that you drop, right? So when I drop a Minor, I want to make sure that I'm having units with it most of the time. So that one Skeleton will actually do something for me. Probably. I'm going to go Electra in the back, same lane as the Princess, because I don't want to give him Rocket potential or Poison potential. I want to see exactly what he's packing for us first. So that's really far back. I'm going to adjust my goblin barrel or my log accordingly to accommodate the goblin barrel. I'm also going to go in for a poison on top of the princess, the ice spirit. And just make sure that all that dies without reaching my tower. Sure, I didn't hit his tower or didn't really hit anything substantial, but it was going to be a 4 for 6 trade and I'm all about that positive elixir trade life. So his princess is going to be walking up. 
I can either snipe that with an Electro Wizard or I can also snipe it with a Tesla. He ends up dropping a Valkyrie, well played by him. He's going to go in for a lock. <laughs> so he's really desperate to kill that, isn't he? Oh, he's trying to outcycle me, but he's not swerving me today. Let's go for a Skeletons and an Ice Spirit. Deny almost everything. And I have to go in for a Poison. The Princess is going to be staying in there for a fat second. She's going to die this time. You're not allowed to evade our Poison two times in a row. That is a cardinal sin, Princess. You're not allowed to skate by in life like that. And end up dropping another Valkyrie. And guys, we're just trying to outcycle him here. We're trying to get multiple Miners on the field. Miner domination, one shovel at a time, digging his funeral. Okay, so that placement, I would actually activate the King Tower, so I'm not going to mess around with that. Electro on top of the tower, though. Poison coming through with the damage because it's the realest of the spells. And I want to just go in for a Tesla when I can. But yeah, man, he's trying to... He's really trying to swerve me hard, isn't he? Just going to go for another Tesla because it does so much work against uh, Princesses. Yeah, man, he's not ready. His body's not prepared. Actually, I don't even know if that Tesla kills that Princess. Princess is going to have to walk up to it. Yeah, now it does. Going to go in for a Poison. Preemptive Poison on top of the Goblin Gang. I think he aborted mission. I think he gave up. Never mind, he's still going to rock it. This dude is really resilient. <laughs> he's just beaten and battered, but he will not uh, give up. He's trying to withstand the test of time, but the Miner... It's not letting it happen. I just need to go for a Poison Log. Poison Log, as I've said numerous, numerous times. Poison Log does 300 damage. He was at a pleasant 209, 299. One damage off. GG. Well played and peace out, Girl Scout. All right, guys. We're going to be dropping Ice Spirit at the river. He's going to go in for an Ice Golem. So it's probably going to be a Cycle deck. Might be a Graveyard deck. Might be Expo. It's probably going to be Graveyard or Expo. So he's going to have Bowler. Really making me think that it's going to be Graveyard now. Let's go. Skelly's in the back. I want to apply opposite lane aggression right now. I don't want to feed his bowler, guys. We don't want to have a feeding frenzy out here. It's going to be pretty difficult for me to counter push against bowler. Baby dragon might actually be graveyard NATO as well, but we're going to try our hardest for sure. So what I'm thinking is I have to save my elixir to be really, really careful. So I'm going to end up going in for ice spirit, going to go in for a Tesla to draw the bowler and also the baby dragon. The Poison will end up killing all the skeletons from the graveyard. And that tombstone, or that uh, Tesla rather, did an immaculate job cleaning up the bowler. So we kite both units from both sides. So usually when you're running Baby Dragon with Graveyard, you always want to drop your Baby Dragon really off to the side so that I can't utilize the Tesla in the middle. So I should have went opposite lane with Electro Wizard and Valkyrie. Shouldn't have went the same lane. But we're going to try to make the best out of our case scenario. We're going to drop our Electro Wizard. We're going to get in with a Miner. We're also going to go in with a Poison. Usually, I dislike doing this, but in this case scenario, if we win the battle at the river, then he doesn't have anything to counter push with. If you're running a Graveyard deck, and you do not have an Ice Comb, you do not have a Baby Dragon. Okay, well, he has Baby Dragon. I lied. Um, but if he didn't have anything to counter push with, then he can't go in for a Graveyard, right? That's kind of the potential or the premise that I was going off of. I botched the Ice Spirit as well, but you guys understand the premise, right? I thought that he was going to go in for a graveyard with that, so I ended up going for a Tesla to stop his uh, baby dragon from crossing the river. Therefore, he wouldn't have a tank, right? He wouldn't have anything tanking for the graveyard skeletons. He's going in for a NATO really friskily, man. Such a hard counter. I hope I win this. I'm going to go for a Tesla yet again. Gotta finish it off, man. Alright. We're going in for another miner. Going for a poison. He's getting super aggressive, dude. Okay. I don't want to go in for a log here just for cycling. As soon as he goes in for a bowler, we're going to rush opposite lane with Valkyrie and Electro Wizard. That's how it goes. Maybe dropping another Ice Spirit. Hopefully he doesn't have his own Valkyrie. We're going to have to wait and find out. No, he's just going to end up having his Electro Wizard. Okay. So this is kind of good for me. I'm just going to go in for a Miner. He's going to be going in hot and heavy with a bowler. I can go in for a Valkyrie off to the side. I need to stop doing that. I need to switch up my placements. He's catching me. Or I need to go in for a pre-log. I've identified that he's going to be saving his goblins every single time. Alright. So he's going for another bowler, as I said before. I like going off his lane and applying aggression when I ever see the bowler. So what I'm going to try to do here is just go in for a skeleton surround and then go in for a poison. Doesn't look like he's about it, so I'm going to have to go in for a Valkyrie, unfortunately. But it looks like my Electro Wizard will end up killing his... Uh, Baby Dragon. So I'm going to go for a Miner. I'm also going to go for a Pre-Log on top of the Goblins that he's about to drop. 
So we have identified his counters and we're accommodating them now. The baby dragon is going to get one hit off on us, but guys, we ended up decimating the bowler. We might actually break through against one of the hardest possible counter decks because, geez, man, he has everything. He's got NATO for our minor. He's got bowler for our... Oh, man, I don't even know. It's crazy to even think about this. He's got bowler for our huge push with our Electro Wizard plus Valkyrie. We can't really substantiate any, like, counter pushes at all. I'm going for a miner in a spot that he's definitely not going to predict because you never expect me to drop it in that spot because the tower, the second tower shoots at it. We're going for a poison and collect the W. Very hard fought battle. Made a few misplays, but we cleaned it up at the end. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Oh, please don't be running Graveyard. Okay. If she's running Graveyard with Bowler, I lose. <laughs> don't be running Graveyard with Bowler. All right, we're going to be going for a miner. Minion, so it's probably going to be the giant Graveyard deck. Yep, exactly. Freeze. Yep. I have to go in for a log. I have to go in for skeletons. Electro Wizard's going to walk. Okay. Got a lot of damage early on. Um, hmm. It's going to come down to card cycle. It's definitely going to come down to card cycle. I think I just need to hold poison for the most part. Really do need to hold poison. But this is really bad. At the start. If I can't like end up defending this, then we lose. I have to drop Electro, otherwise the uh, Lumberjack just does way too much damage to me and we can't afford to take that. So Lumberjack is out of cycle. She's gonna Graveyard Freeze. Just gonna Graveyard Freeze, because that's all she has. She doesn't have a tank. So there's that. She's just gonna do the same play that she did last time. I don't have Electro Wizard though, so I'm gonna go in for Skeletons. I don't think that she has a small spell. I don't remember a small spell. Yeah, literally has to uh, do that. I have to go in for... <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, that would have lost me the game. That would have actually lost me the game if I didn't go for the Electro. Dang, man. That's kind of crazy. I got really lucky that she went in for the Freeze, but I also played stupidly, so I don't blame her for going in for the Freeze because I made a really bad play. I don't know why I didn't drop the Electro earlier. I guess she expected me to be better at the game or something. <laughs> I don't know why I did that to myself. We're gonna go for Miner, we're gonna go for Skeletons. So I can't poison that like I want to. But this is just really, really annoying playing against this type of deck because the, as long as the Giant gets through once you lose, like all it takes is one, one mess up. Like I have to play perfectly the entire time or I lose. Which is my issue with this. Okay. So the witch is probably which just lost through the game because I can go in for a really big push here. Hopefully. I'm not 100% confident that I win this, but I'm hoping that this plays really well for me. Okay, yeah. Look at that. That Electro did devastating damage. So I think I played this almost perfectly besides that really stupid play. Why did I do that? Why did I decide that it was a good idea to just wait? with the, I don't know. I I guess like sometimes when you make a bad play with Electro Wizard, like I waited and I baited out an extra freeze, it can actually like be incredibly beneficial for you. I don't know. You got War Attack? Yeah, I know. All right, guys, we got a game against Icarus. So I'm gonna be dropping Ice Spirit. He wants to draw, but we are not about the life of drawing. Get out of here. We're saucing out of good luck. Yeah, no, dude, we don't draw on stream. We don't have time to wait six minutes. What are you talking about, dude? Get out of here. Especially early on in the season, this man's trying to draw me. What is this? We're gonna go for poison. Inside minor placement to accommodate that poison, see if we can get some extra damage on him. Hey, look at that damage. That's clean. That's juicy. I'm gonna go sauce in a log as well. It's probably gonna go for a barrel. Probably gonna go for a barrel. Doesn't do it. I dropped the Valk there just in case you want to go for a barrel, so then the barrel ends up getting obliterated by the Valk, or the two off the side get obliterated by the Valk. Usually when people are saying good game, they are getting counter decked, so that's kind of like a thing that you guys got to pay attention to. He wants to draw because I have a good matchup against him. <laughs> he doesn't actually want to play this right now. He knows that I play Minor Poison, he's just like, I don't want to play against him right now at all. we we'll be dropping Skeletons, I'm dropping Ice Spear in the back. Minor placement is very, very obvious, but it's okay. Yeah. 
Goblin Gang. Well played. Princess. So that Princess was extremely well played. The reason he drops it off to the side is I can't snipe it with an Electro Wizard. I would love to snipe it and then have it go in the right-hand lane, the lane that I'm working towards, but that's just not something that I can have happen, guys. So well played by Akuris, but I don't know, man. That's uh, He's playing this about as well as he could. If he drops it off to the side, I can't snipe it with a Tesla or anything, man. So Ice Spirit Skeletons finish off the Goblins. He's definitely going to be going in for a Princess relatively soon. Also, you always want to go opposite lane of the Minor Poison player, so I don't know why he's going the same lane now. Because I get counter push potential when I defend. I'm not dropping anything near my tower, because guess what? He just goes in for a, uh, a rocket on top of any of that junk. Can't let that happen. Princess now walks up into a Tesla, so there's that. Cycle Tesla early, because I want to get back to it. I want to get back to uh, more elixir. Now he's only gonna have goblin gang, so we're gonna obliterate that with a poison. Should have went for an outer minor placement, because it was kind of obvious, but it's okay. He's still going up for those goblin barrels. I don't understand. Unless you're like trying to draw the Valkyrie there and then going for like rockets. You know what? I I take that back. Maybe this isn't a counter deck for me. Maybe he's actually able to outcycle me with the rockets. Maybe this is something that's a little bit rough. If the Valk gets a hit, then we're fine. Okay, cool. So he's going to go Princess of the River as soon as the Valk dies? He didn't. Okay. He should have, but he didn't. Still not good game yet, bro. We're going to go switch up the Minor Placement outside corner. There's no way that he expects it. And we're going to get damage. Even though the second tower is hitting it, I still need hits. I just need it, boys. As soon as Electro dies, then we got to go in for Valk. He's going to try to slime me right now with the barrel. I can feel it. He's totally gonna try to slime me. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna slime me, man. I'm not about it. <laughs> not even gonna use a log on you, dude. That amount of disrespect, because I felt it. I felt the slime, dude. It's not happening. We sauce out a log, and I think we win the game. Yep. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> Thought I was gonna win the game. That would have been awesome, but we're not allowed to win the game off of that. Sauce out of poison, capture the W, GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. This guy BMs a lot, so I'm just going to keep him muted. We're going to drop Skellies in the back, and we're going to see what Carlitos wants to do. He's going to go in for an Inferno Dragon. So this is going to be Bridge Bam, or it's going to end up being a Mega Knight deck with Miner. We're going to have to wait and see exactly what he's packing. So Poison, making me lean towards like Mega Knight Miner, but maybe he just really hates Graveyard. Not sure Wizard dies to that, so now I'm thinking it's probably going to be Bridge Bam after seeing Zap, because no one in their right mind ever runs Graveyard with Zap. So Valkyrie, not going to be Bridge Bam, it's actually going to be Graveyard with Zap, okay. Crazy, man. You're wild. You're supremely wild. So we're going to go for Skeletons, and he's going to have Pekka. Pekka Valkyrie with Inferno Dragon? Huh. Is this Balloon, actually? This is probably Balloon. I just, like... I have vacillated in my head, gone back and forth, unable to decipher what he's running until I see the P.E.K.K.A. and the arrows, and now it's most certainly a balloon deck. Have to go in for an Ice Spirit here, gonna have to go in for a Valkyrie as well, and then I assume that I might have to drop Skeletons, but I don't really want to. I really don't want to at all. I want to be able to go in for a Minor plus Skeletons here. I think that that... Tesla has served its purpose. I'm going to go in for a Miner. If he drops anything worth poisoning, I will. That is worth poisoning. I'm not going to do it just yet, though. i actually rather win the battle with the river. I'm not going to poison it. He might be running Graveyard. He's either running Graveyard or Balloon. Either way, it's weird. It's not a normal deck at all. Hopefully, it's not Balloon, because I'm going to go drop a Tesla here. We're going to find out very shortly, guys. You guys will not have to wait for a commercial to find out if he's got Balloon or not. Otherwise, he would have dropped it. So he's running Graveyard. Okay. He uses P.E.K.K.A. Means I can go in off his lane here. Pretty aggressively. Make a substantial endeavor. Yep, so he's running Valk, alright. Well, Valk will, <laughs> I don't understand this. Like, why would you run Graveyard with this? It's so weird. Yeah, there it is. I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, unable to decipher what he was running. And then it all made sense. It all instantaneously clicked for me. Baller Electro Wizard. Can this work? 
Oh, he's not letting it happen. I was trying to kite it off his lane. He just was not about that. He was really not about that life, was he? Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I want to go off his lane? He's going to go try to push us. He's trying to make a bold play. What a bold sir. He doesn't end up hitting our back, does he? As long as my Tesla ends up killing his Pekka, we're fine. What a stupid zap. Okay. I need to start making plays out here. We're going to go opposite the lane, so then he's not able to counter push with Pekka. He's still trying to, though. Can I draw that back with a Miner? That'd be really nice. This would be super nice, actually. I think it might actually work out. Pekka's going to go backwards. Back to Wizard Valkyrie. Please give it to Daddy. We want damage. Okay, I still got to keep like a Valkyrie in cycle. Oh, okay, he's going for a poison. <laughs> what is he doing? He really doesn't like that, does he? Oh, I dropped it right into the Pekka. That's unfortunate. Pekka doesn't get a hit, though. Trying to win the battles at the river, boys. I hate when that happens. It really sucks. He's not having any counter push potential because I just keep going in for poisons on top of him. I'm going to go poison yet again. Skeletons. Inside corner. If he guesses this, I'm just going to have a hit. A uh, fit. Hit. Yeah, guys, I'm going to hit myself. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to go drop Ice Spirit. I'm going to go for a log. Big log of justice. Come on. Doesn't get a hit. Skellies. Nice. Electro up top. Ice Spirit again. I can't go in for a poison. I just got to make sure that I actually like bleed him out right now. This is like a slow and painful death for him. <laughs> All right. Inside minor placement. Going to go in for a log. Oh, I dropped it right into it again. What am I doing? Can I do this? I'm trying to just defend with like a Valkyrie so then I can get away with it. So then I go in for a poison. I think I caught the W. Poison takes eight seconds. This is a really difficult matchup because, dang man, I was never getting that miner on the tower. Holy crap. GG, well played and peace out, Girl Scout. Whew.